one of the best things about Zwift is that there are just a lot of people on the platform to ride with. There are current professionals, there are retired professionals, uh, professionals from other sports, random celebrities, people you may know from real life. Some of those aforementioned ex-professionals and professionals from other sports have been leading some big group rides recently, but you actually don't have to wait for those events to ride with these people. There are several ways to see when they're riding, what events they're going to do, and hop in with them outside of these big promoted events. So I'm going to run through a few ways you can find people, see who's who, and get in and ride with them. But I'm going to go through some of this on the companion app on my phone right here so you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm going to go here to more. I'm going to hit find Zwifters. And you can pretty much type in anyone's name who you think might be on the platform, but I'm going to go with the man of the hour, the group ride everyone's been talking about. Reggie Miller's looking good. He shoots a three, and it's good. Former professional basketball player turned cyclist, Reggie Miller. He spelled his name Reginald on here. Click on his profile. You can see that he's got that little uh, check mark. They give that to people who are verified, kind of like the blue check on Twitter, basically saying that we've checked this out and this is the real profile for this person. I could go change my name to Reggie Miller on here, but that doesn't make me Reggie Miller. Another thing is that little badge, you could fake that. I, don't, I haven't seen anyone doing that, but one way to know that it's real is if I click on his picture and it gets bigger, the badge goes away. That means he hasn't just like taken that badge and put it on a picture. That means that Zwift has actually given him the badge. So I'm gonna click the uh, plus sign with the person up here add him as a friend and then if I want to click the thing beside it I can add him to my favorites and get a push notification every time he jumps on so that's how you can see if someone's jumping on and you're free at that moment you can get on here and ride with them or just give them a ride on you can get that push notification open your companion app and give them a ride on in that moment there are also going to be some pros who have a lot of impersonators and you really have to just go through here and see, you know, none of these look real. Let's see if we can find one with a profile picture. Okay, here's a profile picture of the actual guy. Click on that. He's got the badge. Notice that he's got the check mark for verified, but not the pro badge, which I'll show you in a second. And again, enlarge the picture. I can tell that's the real deal. I actually personally don't want to follow this guy, but some of you might. So I figured I would show you an example of someone who has a lot of imposters where you really do just have to click on the profiles and find that badge. Here's Mitch Docker from Education First. Uh, click on his profile. He actually has up there in the corner of his picture a small jersey that actually says pro on it. That's because he's a current professional cyclist, not just a verified athlete from another discipline or a retired pro like a certain other person we've just looked at. Mitch I already have friended and favorited because I'm a big fan and he's also you can see he's level 23 there. That's another thing to look at is see what level Zwifter they are. Click on activities and see when their most recent activity was. It looks like Mitch has been pretty busy in 2021. September 18th, September 19th, September 20th. Mitch uses Zwift to do some workouts but he's also jumping into a race or two here and there. If you follow someone that only has two or three rides on Zwift, you're probably not gonna see them very often. But if you follow someone who's a higher level Zwifter who's on here pretty consistently, you may actually see them and be able to ride with them. Once you've friended a few people, you can go to events, then hit filters and turn on only Zwifters I follow. So then I can back out of here and this is only gonna show me events where someone that I have friended on Zwift is signed up for that event. So I can go through here and see who's gonna do this Crit City in a few minutes. Um, we got a friend of mine in the A's. Let's see who it is. Payne Griffin from Next. That's a, a guy on Next Esports who I've also ridden with locally, used to live here. If you stack your list with professionals and people you want to ride with, as you go down this list, you will be able to see what events people are signed up for and that might influence your decision. You can also go back and turn that filter off just as easily. So filter off, apply filter. Now it's going to show me every event. So First one there, no one I know is signed up for. Second one is where Payne is signed up. So then if I was choosing between maybe this 445 Crit City and this ZHQ F Future Works Crit City 15 minutes before, err on the side of the one that has a friend, a guy that I've raced with, jump in there with him. So this is a feature that's right in front of us all the time, but doesn't get talked about a lot, and it's probably the easiest way to do this. Whenever you log into Zwift and you are clicking through the different worlds, 
it's going to show you all of the pros, everyone who's verified pro, checkmark, or pro jersey, right up here at the top of your list. Shane Archibald, uh, the flying mullet from New Zealand, is uh, is lifting right now. And you've also got, right under that, my teammate Daniel J from Restart Racing, uh, Premier League racer. I follow him, so it automatically takes all of the pros and verified badges and puts them at the top of the world list automatically puts everyone you're following pro or not right under them and then everyone else below that even if you wanted to follow some people who don't have a verified check mark so maybe a youtuber they would pop up right here every time you ride if they're riding you can go through the worlds and see who's lifting at any given time and it's automatically going to pull them to the top so i'm going to say let's jump in with shane archibald right here click his name click ride with shane and it's gonna drop me in much the same way it would with a pace partner. I'll go ahead and start pedaling and uh, we'll get in here with Shane and give him a ride on real quick. Here he is in his quick step jersey and I have to slow down to let him catch up. And here's Shane Archibald. He's on his TT bike, so I'm not messing his session up. Let's, uh, let's give him a ride on. And you can see the little pro jersey right here that also populates, so you know that's really him. But he's in the uh, Dequina Quick Step jersey, so only pros get the real jerseys in game. You'll see some fan kits from like Trek Sega Fredo, but it's not the exact pro kit. Let's give him a ride on. And now I'm going to stop this video and catch up and do a little bit of work. <laughs> 